Hey guys, it's Jeff, and today Apple released the third developer beta of iOS 13.3. So pretty exciting here that we can see what's new and what's going on with iOS 13.3. We'll of course look for any new features and changes uh, built within iOS 13.3, but we'll really take a hard look at performance as well, because we have still yet to see some increased performance that Apple is promising way back at WWDC. So let's go ahead and take a look at this beta version. Uh, for me on my iPhone 11 Pro Max, the update size was around one. 188.8 megabytes. So um, on the side of updating, like, um, you know, build size and everything like that, it's not, kind of like on the lower end, um, you know, almost about like that 200 megabyte range. So typically we don't see much going on there, but there is the potential for a lot of performance improvement, even though we have that very small um, kind of build size. So let's go ahead and check out what's new in iOS 13.3 developer beta three. Okay guys, so we have beta three of iOS 13.3 loaded up onto our device here. Uh, first we'll go to our usual spot, um, general, then about, and uh, check out the information here. So of course, software version 13.3. And if you take a look at the build number here, it's a little bit different than what we typically get with build numbers on betas. Um, same as beta two, we have a, a build number ending in the letter A here. So it's 17C5046A, and that A at the end indicates that this is actually a very stable build um, of a beta rather than maybe some other letters that go down in the alpha alphabet. And those might be a little bit more of the betas that have like bugs and, you know, many potential issues in those betas. So if you guys are wondering what the letters end, uh, you know, the ending letters mean at the end, um, those are actually referring to uh, kind of like an overall build quality of uh, betas. So if you guys are wondering, should you update um, and, you know, are you going to experience issues? Very likely not in this beta. If we go down into uh, this menu here and in farther into the about menu, you'll see that we have a change in modem firmware. Um, so for the iPhone 11 Pro Max, it's 1.03 Point eleven. Likely the build number will be different for you if you have a different device because the modem firmware uh, is obviously different for different devices because they have different hardware. Um, so if that number is different, don't be alarmed. It's just probably that you have a different phone or device. Now, as far as information for this update, the update size was around 188 megabytes for my iPhone 11 Pro Max here. So, um, you know, a fairly good size update bug wise, but not necessarily for any new features. Now, if you go into the Wi-Fi menu and you go to a network that you're already connected on, um, essentially you can activate low data mode here. So this is actually really nice to see just because um, if you're running on low data, maybe you have a plan that has limited data, you can activate the low data mode directly from the Wi-Fi menu. So you can see here that we have low data mode and below just an infographic that says low data mode helps apps on your iPhone reduce their network data use. So essentially the apps will stopped running in the background and eating up so much data. Um, but for Wi-Fi specifically, um, you know, if you are, um, you know, you on low data mode, um, the Wi-Fi will be activated. So you'll be using this, um, this network instead of your data. So that's really nice um, to see here in the Wi-Fi menu. And that is our first change here uh, within beta three. Now let's go on to um, the AirPlay and handoff menu. So if we go into general and then AirPlay and handoff, uh, you can see here, that we have new information for transfer to HomePod and handoff. Um, so transfer to HomePod is obviously, um, you know, when you're playing any media whatsoever and you bring your um, kind of like iPhone close to the top of the HomePod, um, it will essentially transfer whatever it's playing. So maybe you're coming home from work or anything like that. You just kind of wave your iPhone over the HomePod, um, kind of like that front screen there, and then your data will transfer, it'll hand it off, and you can listen to whatever you were listening listening to. That's really nice. This is the first instance that I'm seeing transfer to HomePod um, in iOS 13.3. It hasn't been there for me previously, so it's really nice to see um, that handoff is coming as that was a much anticipated feature that Apple previewed at WWDC. Now, another thing that we saw within iOS 13.3 is there's a new uh, kind of share audio interface. So this interface will actually activate automatically when um, another pair of headphones is detected, even if it's not connected to your device itself. My device, my Beats Studio 3 headphones were connected to my laptop and it still um, saw that they were there and offered to share the audio to those headphones. So just a slightly tweaked share audio interface here. And I noticed that the share audio um, interface in general 
general works a lot faster than what it did before. It's a little bit more consistent. Now, another thing that I noticed um, in relation to uh, kind of music, AirPods, and everything like that is that the AirPods case has been kind of uh, redefined here in the widget menu. Um, I saw that the design change has been made to make it look a little bit more accurate for the AirPod case, the AirPod Pro case. And essentially, they're just naming this the AirPod case, not the AirPod Pro case. So a little bit of a tidbit there that maybe we in the, few, in the near future, we may see like AirPods uh, turn into this AirPod Pro design, maybe with um, without the noise cancellation and everything like that, but maybe Apple is going to stick with this design going into the future. So Apple has not changed that. I noticed that a long time ago that they didn't really rename that to the AirPods Pro case. So maybe they're going to keep this case design and um, AirPod design into the near future and uh, just change the pro kind of version, um, you know, and offer less for like a more norm normal version. So that's really interesting to see. Now, one other thing that I wanted to show you guys was um, Apple did in fact release their research app. So um, their research app allows uh, any of you guys to that has the research app to get involved with the various studies that Apple has out there. So they have um, you know three studies that you can participate in here. Um, so the Apple Hearing Study, the Apple Heart and Movement Study and then the Apple Women's Health Study. So for any of you guys, um, probably can't be involved in that. But for most people, there's three studies available. You can go ahead and enroll in those um, today. They are available now. This doesn't really have to, anything to do with um, you know developer releases or anything like that, but I just want to show you guys that this is available now and you should guys should definitely um, take part in these studies. They're actually really useful to the overall collection of data. So um, they give you like certain tasks that you can complete, uh, simple questionnaires and everything like that. Um, all you have to do if you own like anything like an Apple Watch or anything like that, um, just go ahead and uh, you know transfer all that data and it will continuously collect all of your data, um, your health data as you move along in the study. Now you can go to the third uh, menu option there, it says your data and you can go to collected data and you can actually um, turn data collection off. Um, you can delete all currently collected data um, or export your currently collected data. So um, you do have control over your data, your individual data, if you want to keep that private. Um, but of course, if you're trying to keep it private, it's recommended that you just don't join the study in the first place. So um, go ahead, check it out. Um, you have a lot of things going on here within the research app, and it's actually really nice to see here, um, finally here in late 2019. Now, the other app that I wanted to show you guys um, that has a little bit more to do with the developer um, kind of like um, betas and everything like that, um, the WWDC app has been renamed to developer. It got a new icon. And this is actually really interesting because it has all of the developer news here um, on it and Apple is actually keeping this up to date. Um, so the interface for the entire app has in fact changed. So you can go ahead, take a look at all the news there. Um, they have videos on um, basically what they had at WWDC workshops and everything like that. Um, if you go to WWDC, um, you have like all of your live sessions, labs, and um, you can of course favorite those, they'll, sh they'll show up there um, when WWDC 2020 rolls around. So this is actually a great companion app for all developers. And um, they do have an account here. So I can go ahead, sign into my developer account. And um, I do expect in the near future that um, further kind of access to more and more things are available through this app. So definitely take a look at this app if you are registered as a developer, simply because this app may uh, lead to more functionality in the near future, and you don't want to miss out on that. So definitely go ahead, take a look at the new developer app. Um, and that, of course, is not relating to any developer beta build. This is actually all available through the App Store. So just go to the App Store um, and type in uh, developer and the um, health study app as well. This can all be found within the App Store here. There it is, um, all in the App Store. So just go ahead, check it out if you have the time. Okay guys, so those were the kind of changes that we saw within iOS 13.3 Developer Beta 3. In the comment section down below, sound off what you like, what you didn't like, what you still want to see within the developer betas of iOS 13.3 as we enter into the holiday season here. I'd love to read those comments and get that discussion started. But let's go ahead and move on to our second part of the video here. Um, that is of course talking about speed performance and of course battery performance, battery life as well. 
So on the uh, kind of side of speed and performance with the CPU and GPU, we actually saw an overall CPU uh, kind of downgrade in percentage, about two to three percent, um, you know, less performance with the CPU. So um, if you go into iOS 13.3 developer beta three and you go throughout the UI and everything like that, you take pictures and see how long it takes for them to process and everything like that. You're actually not seeing any performance hit or anything like that. Um, the decrease in performance is likely just having to do with benchmarks, but visually you can't actually see that. Now, on the other hand, with the GPU, you actually saw about a solid 4% increase in performance. And of course, that cannot be seen either just because um, these are very small percentage increases. These are likely, um, you know, carrying out background tests that are working just a little bit faster or maybe even more efficiently, which will then lead to better battery life. But as far as like the CPU and GPU, yes, the benchmarks have in fact changed. But I guess the bigger news is that nothing has actually really changed surface level when you're actually actually going throughout the UI of iOS 13 here. So overall, the speed and performance is just around the same as what we were seeing before, still a little bit above iOS 13.2.2. Uh, we really haven't tested this against point, the point 0.3 version of iOS 13.2, um, but there we didn't really see any speed and performance changes over the previous official update. So of course, not really much to talk about here, but there is something to talk about when it comes to battery performance. Now, we did a test on the iPhone 8 Plus with battery performance running beta three here, and the battery performance is actually up three to 4%, which is really, really good. So battery performance is always something that we have to talk about with older devices, especially because obviously degradation is a factor there, and battery performance has gone up on older devices. Now, when testing it on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, we actually didn't really see a change. So it looks like Apple is focusing on older devices in regards to battery performance, which is actually really, really nice. So if you have an older device, you might be experiencing better battery life or better battery performance here on beta three. So guys, that was uh, all the new features changes that we found in iOS 13.3 beta three. And of course we talked about speed and performance and battery life as well. Um, if you have any questions about what we talked about today, definitely leave those questions in the comment section down below. Uh, of course, all of you will have the question of if I should update or not, and that question uh, I can answer as a yes. You should definitely go ahead and update, see what's new in beta three. So far, performance didn't take a hit for us, and we saw increased battery life on older devices. So uh, definitely check it out. It's worth updating to and worth uh, seeing if there's any bugs or not located within these betas. But since we had that build number ending in the letter A, um, that simply like raises the uh, kind of importance of the build as being the most stable possible build that Apple has. So in regards to stability and performance and everything like that, I think you're going to be entering into a really stable build here within beta three, just as like what we saw in beta two. So guys, again, thank you all for watching this update of iOS 13.3 beta three. If you want to stay up to date with these updates and our other content that we have on the channel, including um, yesterday's video where uh, we talked about uh, future possible kind of specs for uh, the iPhone 12, definitely leave a like on this video. Also get subscribed and hit that notification bell button as that will give you updates when any future content is released. So guys, thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll be seeing you guys in some future content. Until then, I hope you all have an awesome day. Peace.